guys and welcome to my channel and today we are building a house for the triplets to live in for the discover university let's play we're going to be starting here super shortly um i do have a couple of episodes already recorded so essentially once because uh, i recorded this and then i started playing because i was just too excited <laughs> i was too excited to stop and put the um to uh just immediately start like voicing this one and stuff like that so I, I just got so excited and so I'm very excited and very happy to um be showing you this house and I'm very excited to be showing uh off Discover University and I redesigned <laughs> both floors of this house so many times like just imagine you're seeing this at a six times speed of me actually doing it I freaking was crazy trying to figure out how I wanted this house laid out how I wanted it to work I mean, I was constantly rearranging walls. Because I just, I couldn't come up with exactly what I wanted. Because um, I kind of wanted an almost like closed off space, but not like really, you know? If that makes any sense. So there's three bedrooms upstairs. There's a full bathroom upstairs and then a full bath and a half bath downstairs. Um, haven't put the half bath in just yet, but it should be coming here any second. So anyway, so we have the living room that's kind of prominent. And then we have a kitchen and a dining space. And so I kind of made each of the rooms a little bit different. And the kitchen's a little bit different from what we usually do. I normally don't do um, like green kitchens, but I'm kind of, I was kind of fond of the green. It will change to green here. Just give me like two seconds. <laughs> I couldn't decide, okay? I was so indecisive building their house because I'm like, I just, I don't know. Like, I just didn't know like what to pick, how to choose it, that kind of thing. I mean, there's so much on this house I did and then read it and then read it again for the third time, if not more frequently than that. And so I was also trying to kind of like mimic some of like how the buildings looked, um, except for I didn't use any of the doors. <laughs> Maybe I should have. That probably would have been a really great idea. But I like how this one's kind of like centered on the front of the house. I really like it. It's super cute. It's designed to go where that starter home is. Honestly, though, this is not a starter home. This was all from the triplets' money. So this is from the house that they moved into and the um, and like all their funds and everything they got from their jobs and stuff like that. So this is all the money they had um, after selling their house and selling all their possessions in that house. So, so now we're here and we're building them a beautiful home. <laughs> I think the home's like 40000 I mean, it's still not a bad price, though. I mean... If you wanted to, you could have your sim, like, have a quote-unquote loan, and you could cheat their money. This way, it's like, bills are coming out of it. I don't know. <laughs> or if you have, like, um, a couple of mods, you could always make it so they have a loan in order to own this house, and you could have a couple of roommates. I mean, that's always possible, so. Whatever you wanted to use this home for, if you want to use it for, um kind of like a growing family I mean that would be a great option too because there's plenty of room in this house for more than uh more than just three sims I mean you could easily probably fit five to six sims in this house I mean it might start to get a little cramped just because of the bathrooms and stuff but <laughs> otherwise I mean this house would be probably work out really well for um for five to six sims because I mean there's already going to be three living here I decided to go with that just because it was, I mean, realistically, I could have put single beds in each of the bedrooms and could have had up to probably, I probably could have had nine beds in this place, but it's not what I was going for. <laughs> so the, here's the half bath. It's right next to the stairs and then we'll have a full bath. There's an office downstairs. You could always convert it into a bedroom if you needed to, if you wanted to use this house for whatever. Um, but it's an office for the triplets because they needed a place for desks and stuff. And because they're going to university, I'm not quite sure what kind of like skill building items they're going to need in order to kind of like really excel at their degrees and stuff like that. So um, I left a lot of space because they also they'll also probably have presentations and um, have term papers, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to make sure they had enough room to grow, expand. Um, and then um, just be able to have a nice house here. So 
there is a laundry here as well because I kind of was going for more a more realistic vibe. So they would have they would have had laundry, you know, if this were any other house that they would have had. I don't know why I feel the need to add laundry with dorms, but it just kind of feels so right, you know. <laughs> I'm just really happy how this house finally morphed together. Um, I did use the StrangerVille laptops. They were significantly cheaper than all the other laptops that were available. And like the um, Discover University laptops are like four grand. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Like, I don't know anybody who needs a laptop that expensive to go to school. Unless you're going to like art, like art school and you're doing digitalistic arts or maybe or video producing or fine I could understand that but if you're going for like a philosophy degree or I don't know what else is there culinary arts do you really need a four thousand dollar laptop for that no <laughs> so they each got one thousand dollar strangerville laptop so if you don't have strangerville I think that's the only strangerville item I used so if you don't have it then no big deal you know you'll have to buy different computers but I mean that's it I mean I also used, I tried to use as much of university as I could, uh, but it is a small home. It's not a dorm like I just got done doing. <laughs> it's not a full-size dorm, so I mean, I couldn't use a lot of the items. I used as much as I could, but I couldn't quite find a use for everything. Uh, but there is toilet paper in all the bathrooms. Oh yeah, I think, I think I forgot trash cans again. If I remember correctly, yeah, there's no trash cans in this house. <laughs> I do believe there is a trash can in the uploaded version. Because I believe I caught it after I was done recording. Like, when I was taking a tour, I was like, oh, crap. I totally forgot the trash can. So, I think, I'm pretty sure, or either that or it was, like, the beginning of the first episode. One of the two, like, I realized there was no trash can. So, I had them, uh, I added in a trash can real quick and, you know, called it good. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much the entire house built. It actually didn't take me very long at all. I kind of just, to be honest, I kind of threw it together. But it looks really good, and I really like it. It's super cute. It's going to fit the triplets really well. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see them use it and live in it and see how their lives are going to turn out going to university and getting their degrees and stuff. Um, so we're going to take a quick home tour. So let's see, we're uh, outside, of course. We're gonna go in, we're gonna see the uh, living room and then we're gonna go into the doors on the right, go through the kitchen, see the half bath and then go upstairs. So, I mean, it is just the triplets here. So I did just leave it at a single couch. Plus I also wanted them to have extra money in case they needed it for whatever, cause they all are quitting their jobs. Because, of course, they all have jobs now. So this is the full bathroom downstairs. There is only one tub, and it's the one upstairs. So here is the office downstairs. Again, the StrangerVille Loud Talk should have been the only thing from that pack. Um, I tried to, like, minimize the packs, which actually I was really proud. I did not do a crap ton of packs. I mean, I think there's, like, three or four expansions, um, a three or four game packs, and a couple stuff packs. Um, of course, I used the Parenthood counters and cabinets. I freaking loved them. They really fit in well, especially with that green theme I was going for. Because I kind of wanted like a blue-green kind of color scheme for them. I don't know. Maybe this is like foreshadowing that they'll go to Brightchester. But I don't even know what degrees they're going to need for their for their uh, jobs yet. Like, I haven't made it that far. <laughs> Not in recording anyway. But uh, that's the first bedroom. I can't remember which one's which. The boys get the two bedrooms on the right and Alexis gets the last room on the left. I think I think Ashton gets the middle one and Austin gets the right. I'm not 100% sure though. So, but anyway, whoo, I love that new glitch that or that old glitch returning. Ain't that so nice? Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right here, guys. So definitely leave your comments, feedback, and suggestions all down below. And uh, so have you guys built homes for your Sims to go to university in? Have you? Yet? No? Do you just stay in the dorms? Uh, go ahead, leave that down in the comments section below. I'm very interested to know what everybody else is doing. Um, if all my social media is in that description box, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, and we're live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I would love it if you can stop in sometime. Love chatting with everybody. As always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This way you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day. Bye!